Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Candylicious from LOL Surprise Dolls. So let's get started. To draw this fabulous doll, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and start basically the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come right across, about right here, nice and wide. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. Just move it around towards the bottom. And come right in towards the center and go right back up. There, something like that. <laughs> and then from there, let's come back to where you started and we're going to draw a big circle for the eyes. So right to the edge, right here next to the edge, we're just going to draw a big circle. Same thing on the other side. Let's so make them extra big because they are LOL dolls, right? The huge eyes. Okay, so I got two big circles in. Let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm gonna come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. and lines at the bottom and same thing over here. So thank you for the request to draw Candylicious here and I'm sorry it took so long. This has been a very uh, long request and uh, sorry it took so long I, like I said. Okay, so now we have these huge eyes shaded in. Let's come back up here, we're gonna draw some lashes. So I'm gonna start with the main one. So just a big curve comes out and in. And shade that part in. And then we're gonna draw some smaller ones. So maybe like one and two. And then some even smaller ones here on the side. Maybe like about three of them. There. <laughs> so same thing on the other side. So right here, one big curve, come in, shade it in, and then two smaller ones at the top, and some tiny ones on the side. Then from there, let's come to the top and we're going to draw the brow. So right above, just a soft curve, and towards the front here is a little bit thicker and then just comes right back in. So same thing over here. So just short little brows and it's kind of round towards the front and tapers off. And for the mouth, I'm going to follow the LOL doll mouth. So um, let's come right here and we're going to step out right here towards the center. I'm going to go up and come right back down. Looks weird there, right? <laughs> and then from there, let's come right here to where you started. And we're going to draw a curve that comes to your center, goes up again and down. Then the bottom is where you draw kind of like a curve, so kind of like a bottom of a U and connect. And then in the center right here, just thicken it up. There. Now we got the LOL lips in, LOL doll lips in. So then now we can go ahead and finally draw the hair. So let's bring this up more and it's gonna taper in past the brow. And go up a tiny bit more. So we're gonna draw the bangs above the brow. From there, I'm gonna start to come across with a curve and it's gonna come up there. And we're just gonna come here and there and zigzag right across, right above the brow. Just remember, we're still drawing at a curve and come out. 
for the bangs. And then let's bring this up. Same thing on the other side. Now we're just going to connect it with a curve towards the center. And you can just come in here really quickly with some details, some strands. This is a very detailed drawing, right? So hopefully it won't take too long, but I just wanted to show you some details that you could pop in here. For the bangs and then there's two strands of hair so let's come right here following the face we're just going to draw this curve that comes out i'm just going to end it there for now because there's all these other details we need to draw like her earrings and everything but um let's just put in these two strands first And I'll just leave it as um, like that for now. So then let's come back here near her, where her eyes are. And I'm just going to combine this area and pop in. Uh, let's see, draw an ear. So just a draw a curve. And same thing on the other side. So right here. And I'm going to come in here with some details. So two small curves. And then now we can go ahead and draw the top of the head. So right here, angle it out on both sides. And we're aiming towards the center. So your center right here, there's still going to be a little split, but it's thinner. So about right there, come up and up on the other side. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect it right back down. There. Okay, so then from there, we have these amazing braids that we need to draw. So I'll do all of that later because we have to figure out where the body goes first. So let's come right here in the center and we're going to give her a neck right in the center, right there. And I'm just going to bring it down at a slight angle for her shoulder area. But I'm not going to draw the sh actual shoulders because um, her just sleeves that poof out. But about right there, I'm going to go ahead and connect it right here for a collar. And let's kind of center and draw a collar. And then she has this little choker thing that goes on right here. So just two curves and it comes down to like a T. There. And so then from there, we're going to imagine her armpits about right here, coming down from this line. All right here and I'll draw a slight angle there so then now we can go ahead and from this line to here we're going to draw a curve that comes out so I'm trying to put in all the details that are necessary but not too many because <laughs> it's there's a lot so then let's come right here we're just going to draw a little top that she has towards the center and right back down and then you can cut it off about right here. Add some details. And if I'm going too fast, please pause the video. Sorry if I am. Just, I'm, there's like, like I said, there's just so many details on this drawing. I just want to be able to get it done for you. So two little straps right here on this little top. Kind of tucks right in there. And then the sleeves. So the sleeves are going to pop out. Um, about right here just give it a little flare and bring it right back in and don't forget the two little details right here for curves and then maybe a little detail right there so same thing over here flare it out a little bit bring it in and the two little creases Okay, so then from there, let's uh, continue the body. I'll bring this down a tiny bit more. Uh, about right there, I'll stop and connect it. So she has this belt, so I'll come right here in the center, draw the buckle, and connect it. Okay. 
And for some detail right here as well. Okay, so then now we can start to draw her skirt. So from here, let's pop out her skirt on both sides. And bring it down. About that much, I'll stop and I'll bring this down and curving. So towards the center, it's going to be a little bit lower. And about right there, I'll stop because there's a separation. I'll just go ahead and connect that and then come up a little bit and connect back up. And let's draw the details here since we're already here. So another curve right there. A bigger one here. And then she has these little pocket things that go on here at this angle. So I just quickly draw that in, just an indication. So it's all at this angle of the skirt. And then there's these braid things that go on here. So I'll just draw like this to make it simpler. There, something like that. <laughs> okay, so it looks like braids. And then her feet, so right in the center. Uh, here and here and then her, imagine her feet coming out but right here okay so let's bring them down nice and long right lol these lol dolls are really tall so right there i'm going to come in a little bit and then come out and taper it in about right there so same thing over here. Give a slight inward right here towards the knee area and then come out. And then about right here, I'll go ahead and connect. And for the shoes. So come in here and then come out. And connect. And same thing. So for some details, come right here, draw a curve. And there's these two curves, the angle, and then a bow. So same thing over here. There, got the feet in. So then now we can finally draw the hands. So I'm making it very simple just to her side, nothing fancy. So it's come out right here. We're gonna pop it out. About right there. And so let's come right here for the fingers. Come out a little bit and then right here the thumb. And you can draw a tiny little one on the back and tuck it in. So it's the same thing on this side. So come right here. And we're gonna end about this area here so about right there. Draw a thumb. And the fingers. Okay, so now we finally have that done. We can draw the fabulous hair. So um, let's finish this strand first. So whatever space you have left, just tuck this in. And same thing over here. And then she has these earrings I almost forgot. So we're just gonna imagine it kind of right here. So it's gonna be blocked. 
by the strand, but which is one indication of it. So just kind of imagine you're drawing this little circle and then the icing and two eyes. So same thing over here. So about right here, just draw this circle shape. And this side is the same, but this one has ears. So two little ears right here and just indication of eyes. And this thing on the top. <laughs> okay, finally got that done, now the hair. So let's work on this side. There's going to be two braids and then um, the rest of her hair. So come about right here. We're going to start with these two curves. So we're going to start one and then another one that kind of tucks in right here. And then we're going to start to braid. So the easiest way I've found is to just start right here. One and come right here and connect. So that's where we're going to start to build. Another one, come right down and build it. So just keep bringing this down. And we're going to end about this area. So just keep that in mind. So one more. It can be bigger, smaller, it doesn't really matter. Just indication. And then about here I'll stop. The last one is not going to come fully connect. It's going to end like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect it. So we have to tie it off and then um, kind of like drying a brush I'm just going to end the hair okay so now we have another one we need to tuck in the back right here so right here this one's a little bit easier I'm just going to go ahead and draw these curves that connect and we're going to end a little bit shorter And one more. So about right there, I'll stop. And like I said, I know if I'm going too fast, this might be a little bit fast. Please pause the video. There. So the two major strands in. So then now um, I'm just going to fill it in with her, the rest of her hair. So using this kind of as if this is the edge of her hair, I'm going to bring it out. Uh, right here, we'll tuck some in here. So coming out, and I'm just going to zigzag my way back and forth. There. Okay, so that is pretty much it. <laughs> and so now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So just drag your points across and it's going to end about right here. So you just want it approximately the same size. So once again, I'm just going to start right here. And here, just like the other side, and go ahead and connect. So I just want to make sure I end about the same area. And that's my goal. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And one more about right there. And connect. Okay, so same thing on the back. And one more. Right here. Okay, so once again, using this as my edge right here for her hair, it's going to come out, say, about right here. 
and just bring it out around here and start to zigzag my way across just like the other side. There. Wow, right? <laughs> okay, so then from there, we are pretty much done, I think, for um, without putting in too many details. There's definitely a lot more details you can put if you like. Strands. But we'll leave it at that for now because I would like to draw that little handbag that she carries as a little bear. So I'll just draw that right here really quickly. So let's see here. Um, let's start with a curve. And I have this little ear I need to pop in. So hopefully you want to draw her handbag if you do. It's right here, <laughs> sitting on the ground next to her. So it's just a little curve. Then connect. And then the ear right here that pops out. And the inside of the ear right here. And so then let's come right here. We're going to draw a bigger dot, circle, and then a really small one on this side. A little nose. And so then the body. So it's going to come right close to her feet, so about right there. And the foot, and another one. Come in here, make this a circle, and the hands right to the side. There, something like that. <laughs> Her little bag. So um, hopefully I didn't make this too complicated and I made this easy for you to um, follow along with me and draw this beautiful Candelicious doll from LOL Surprise Dolls. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.